Hey, what's up everybody? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here at the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. A few days ago, we unboxed a product from our friends at Silverstone. This was the FT30B Black Award-winning micro case. Today, we're gonna to be doing the full review about this case. Now, this is a very award-winning case. At CES, it won an Innovation Award. The year before, people had this video all over the place because this thing shoots all the air straight up through the case, giving it maximum airflow. It's also totally differently designed than any other case that you've ever seen because all the parts are actually up on top. When you get the case right off the bat, it features three three and a half inch bays, a single two and a half inch bay. It has options for up to four fans, two intakes at 120 millimeters and a 120 millimeter outtake and a 80 millimeter outtake, which you can put in optionally. Now, it also takes a slot drive CD that you install, because you can see it's a slot drive right here. There's no actual control that you hit, it's all controlled through the Windows environment. So now let's actually take a look at how the case looks and our installation of a system into this new case by our friends at Silverstone. We'll start off taking a look at the front of the case. The case is very elegantly made. It's got an aluminum shell and a steel outer body. The only thing that you'll see here on the front, like we said before, is just the slot drive for the CD, which is controlled through the Windows environment. On the bottom left-hand side of the case, you can see that we have a removable grill. This can be removed by popping off right here, and it gives you access to your power supply and actually features a micro filter to keep the dust out. There's not much to talk about the other two sides of the case because all they are is just extensions without anything to actually show you. But now we're gonna move to the top of the case and begin showing you how the case is completely easy to take apart and put together. So let me just start off here and show you. You have a pop top removable top here. One of the things to talk about that's really unique about this case is your motherboard mounts straight up. So as you can see right here, you got your video card and your rear I.O. All of this is actually facing upwards if you're looking at the front of the case. So it's really hard for the camera to move around a lot. So I'm gonna try to just keep this right here in the shot. But you can see this is actually the top of the case. There are actually a couple of USB 3.0 and a microphone and a speaker out or a headphone out right here. Now you've got right here your 120 millimeter outtake fan. This is the fan that's uh, pushing the air out of the top of the case. Um, when I start disassembling it, I'll show you where everything else goes. Right here, there's a little removable drawer right here. It's a little hard to get at at this angle, but right here is actually where the hard drive actually installs into. At this angle, it's really hard to do it. I'll probably have to actually move it to actually show you it, but basically the rear I.O. of your thing, instead of being at the rear of the case, is now at the top of your case. Everything comes out. We can pop off the front. The front here is completely popped. So you just pop it off, and that removes the front. As you can see right here, you can see that we've used the 1000 watt Strider Gold 80 certified power supply from our friends at Silverstone. They provide this, so we could put it inside their case. It's a pretty nice unit. So the sides, all are removable. This is the one side, like we said, that we showed you earlier that had the removable side in the filter. The other side, the same thing, it slides off. As I told you, there's nothing on to really see. It's just the outer shell. The rear does not remove at all. As we spoke about earlier, the little hard drive thing, you gotta get your fingernail kind of in here, and then it pops out. I'm gonna put this over here like this. Now you guys can see it, but this is actually where the hard drive goes. Maybe if I angle a little bit more like this way, we can see everything. We used an SSD drive, and as you can see, it was very easy. There's a little spot right here to actually install an SSD drive. Inside of the case, there's actually no sharp edges whatsoever, so putting stuff in is not gonna cut up your hands at all. Let me spin it around one more time, take a look at the inside. You can see here, everything's really nice. It actually will fit any full-size power supply and any full-size video card. So even if you have one of those 10-inch video cards, it'll actually fit in here to be installed. For motherboards, it fits the micro ATX, mini ATX, and mini DTX motherboard form factors. We use a little mini motherboard that we had here in stock. It's pretty nice, fits right in there. But as you can see, everything's very, very nice inside. It's clean. The airflow is actually sucked in and taken out through the top of the case. Now, the 80 millimeter outtake fan that we spoke of before actually goes right here. We didn't have that installed. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but the 120 millimeter intake fan is right here. And there's also another one that goes right here, but also your slot drive, CD-ROM drive goes here. So we actually removed that fan. So, as you can see, everything is very easily be removable. Installation inside of this case 
was very simple. Cable management was simple. It's very easy to use, maintain, and it has a unique design. I have to say at the end of the day, the new Silverstone FT-03B Fortress case is a very interesting product. It definitely wins a hot product award here at motherboards.org. I mean, it sells at Newegg for about $169, and if anybody's looking for a really small case that fits like in a little tiny area, it's kind of unique. I haven't seen any other case like this. No other case actually takes all the air and sucks it right out the top like this one does. I haven't seen any other cases that actually have the wiring management like this case does. It's very interesting indeed. I actually use the PP05 short wiring harness in this review. What this did is this allowed for the cable management to be much nicer. This works with any of the Strider power supply models. We use the 1000 watt Strider in our build here. Now, some things to note. The case isn't totally toolless. You guys are absolutely right. It always takes a screwdriver to put in the motherboard. But beyond installation of the motherboard, there are no tools required to build anything inside of this case. It's very well made. It's well priced. It has a unique design. And for anybody who wants something different than just your average case, the Silverstone FT-03B is a serious hot product and something for you to look at as the end user. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.